The Connecticut Hospital Association and the Connecticut Department of Public Health are pleased to present the 2024 Connecticut's Hospital Community Service Award to Yale New Haven Hospital for its Medical Legal Partnership Project. A health harming legal need is something that's happening to you that is affecting your health that there is actually a legal remedy for. For example, the family is living in an apartment and perhaps they have peeling paint, they have mold in the carpet, and the child is experiencing asthma. You're doing your asthma treatment, but what's really harming your health is your house, and you have a right to safe and habitable housing, and there's something legally you can do about that. Here's patient X, and they have asthma, and you detail a little bit about the asthma. And then you say, housing conditions can worsen asthma in this way. And so you're linking the asthma with the housing condition that's being reported to you as a clinician. The child is being treated, the parents are treating the child, and there's a legal need that we need to address either with the schools or a private setting to get them everything they need. So the program for uh, Yellow Haven Hospital started in 2013, and it really grew out of a recognition that the healthcare team was seeing patients that had these legal needs. And so CCA, the Center for Children's Advocacy, was able to partner with us to provide those legal services. The people who are trained here and the people who work here, they just know to look for these issues in the same way they know to look for any health issues. They just know the things to ask for. You know, they follow this disability and they know what to do. But then they get stuck. You know, they can only go so far. And so then it's bringing something to me and having me sort of tell the team, this is something legally we can do. Another thing is just telling the team, the kid has a legal right to X. Physicians have traditionally in the past not really addressed social drivers of health, like housing and medicines and so on. Our previous lawyer really loved this wonderful cartoon by Jack Maypole that shows a pediatrician looking in the ear of a child and saying, oh, that ear is so much better, anything else? And the parent is bowed over by having her house or all of the other things that are, are weighing upon her, really weighing her down. I think that's kind of, to me, the center image. We used to be that doctor who was oblivious to everything else, and now you just cannot be because 80% or so of health is really attributable to everything outside of healthcare. To date, since 2013, we've probably had over 4,000 referrals to the Medical Legal Partnership. And I mean, that's a huge amount of patients and families that we've been able to help assist. But I only think it tells part of the story because behind each one of those referrals is a doctor, a nurse, a social worker who really has experienced, I think, some moral distress when they see patients and families in these situations. And it's given them a way to actually help them with an issue that they weren't necessarily trained to do. They don't teach you housing law in medical school. So it's an opportunity to refer that family to somebody who can actually help them. I'm really glad to see that pediatricians and pediatric providers are asking these questions and learning more about their patients beyond just the discrete medical issue that they're coming to the office or clinic for. Because there's so much more that's happening in the life of the child, whether it's something specifically happening to the child themselves or something happening to their parents or their home. But to be able to know that they can refer their patients to us, they know that there's a way to resolve problems or inform families and patients of their rights so that they can improve their outcome. Lawyers and doctors working together for the health of the patient is the ultimate, I think, in caring for these patients. I think there's so much more power in bringing both of us together than there ever was. Making patients more candid in everything because they know that the doctor actually wants to help on a range of things. They just really care. If they didn't care, this, this team would fall apart. Housing is health care. Education is health care. If you don't have access to all of those things, it has a physical and emotional toll on uh, patients and, and children.